Every morning we come together. It's called Harambe. It's a Swahili word for let's come together. We celebrate the kids. We get them really excited about the reading and writing components we're going to do. The right hand of his throne was a great eagle. Leah Tata Floyd Elementary School in Sacramento is one of dozens of schools across California challenging the way we think about summer school. Traditionally, it was set up just like school. So it was school in the summer. It was come to the classroom, sit at a desk, uh, go through lessons, read chapters in a book, answer questions, listen to the teacher talk. A growing number of school districts in California are leaving that old model behind in favor of a new approach. Summer school is becoming less like school and more like summer camp. The change is part of a promotional outreach to school districts called Summer Matters. It's been spearheaded by many, including State Superintendent of Public Instruction Tom Torlakson, along with the Department of Education and the Partnership for Children and Youth. Summer school no longer, we're not putting worksheets in front of students. We're not, you know, drill and kill, you know, rope. We're not doing any of that. Um, we're actually allowing our students to open their minds and to tell us what they want to learn and actually bring to the table the knowledge and experience that they already have. So what we're here looking at today is our partnership with the Children's Defense Fund, national organization, so we're at Freedom Schools. And so we've got culturally responsive and relevant materials and books that our young people are looking at. Keeping with the theme of summer camp, the rooms are decorated more like cabins than classrooms. Here you'll find everything from a fake Hollywood film set to a room designed just for girls. Our classroom is the Mara Girls and what basically what my teacher did was he hung up pictures of people who made differences in our community or who got judged about what they were doing in the community. Why I like coming here is because we get to get do a good education and read fun books. And after we read fun books, we get to do fun activities with the books. And it's helping me with reading because I used to be behind in reading and now reading school helped me to be at my great level. There's a lot of research about summer learning loss and the fact that kids who don't have um, kind of structured, uh, fun, engaging activities in the summer lose learning so that when they get back to school in the fall, they can be as much as two months behind the grade level reading that they were at before summer started. And that gap accumulates over years so that by the time they get to fifth grade, kids who haven't had those experiences throughout their elementary school experience can be as much as two or three years behind their peers. The Summer Matters campaign is just what it says. It says that summer matters for these children to have opportunities like their peers. The Summer Matters campaign has made a difference for Faye Trice and her six-year-old son, Joshua. She says he struggled at school during his first year of kindergarten. Every morning it's a fight. He doesn't want to go to school. He hates school. He hates math. The kids are bullies. It's, it's just every morning is, is drama. But now that he's in the summer program, she says everything has changed. He'll get up in the morning, especially when they have the field trips going on. He's ready to go. You know, he, he rides his bike here every day. So he has that energy. When we get here, he'll go sit down. He'll do what he has to do. And by the time he gets home, he's ready to go again. How summer programs are carried out is up to each individual district. While the program in Northern California has a focus on reading, the Lenox District in Los Angeles offers 15 activities that students can choose from. Everything from animation to video game design, even their own rock band. It's like a choice that you make and it's something that you like personally enjoy because you're coming here. You're not coming here because you don't want to. You're coming here because like you choose to. We have three stations going on at the same time. So we got three bands going on in one room. When you step outside, you don't hear the chaos. The more experienced ones are jamming out. Uh, the ones that are coming in for the first time, I give them something to play, like uh, work on power chords. So it's, it's not a free for all, but it is structured. I guess it's my break in my own way. Um, I relieve a lot of stress here, which is mainly why I like coming because um, I get to de-stress with the instruments. You know, some kids, they go throughout the school day and there's no connection. Rock band is that connection for kids that they want to come to school every single day. School administrators say the activities here may look like they're just for fun, 
but dig a little deeper and you'll discover a good deal of math and science. You tell students, hey, we're going to make some cookies, Perfect. they're excited, you know. The academics comes in Eight when minutes? you need to measure okay. different Very. ingredients and how much is a teaspoon, how much is a tablespoon, how much is a cup. You know, we need to put two cups and we, you know, and adding those things. So you're adding fractions and so kids don't know. It's a, it's, the learning is done Everyone in a disguised finish? format. They're learning those skills. The piece that makes summer learning different than a summer camp is the intentionality around that learning piece. So those teachers have a lesson plan and they followed that lesson plan to draw out the scientific principles that are behind the hovercraft, for example. Some of our kids probably never thought that they could be engineers or producers or singers or rock band star, I mean, or, or creating the next Pokemon game. And these students need to realize that they do have the potential to do it and they could do it. And, and it's how are we sparking that interest in them. There's a misconception that schools historically closed during summer so kids could work on the farm. In fact, kids were most needed on the farm during spring and fall months for planting and harvesting. It was actually urban cities that shut down schools in the summer because of sweltering temperatures in the days before air conditioning. By the late 19th century, rural and urban schools compromised on the modern school calendar.